Our next guest is a very funny comedian whose stand-up special, Cold Lasagna, Hate Myself, 1999, was recently nominated for a Critics' Choice Award. Please welcome to the show, James A. Castor. How are you, James? Very well, thank you, Seth. So good to see you. I, my only regret is that we're not a meeting in person. Is it safe to assume that you were Zooming in from London? That is not safe to assume. I'm actually, I actually, I'm in a little place called New York City, make some noise! <laughs> but, why, but you're not here. No, I'm in a little place called 29 Rockefeller Center. Okay. Uh, that is where I spend a lot of my time in New York. I'm loyal to that building. I will not set foot in 30 Rock. I'm 29 Rock till I die. <laughs> You have, you have long been a supporter of 29 Rock. It's a very overlooked building, so I, I totally understand. <laughs> 29 Rock forever. You can watch Sunday Night as live. My favorite show goes out every week. <laughs> hey, uh, congratulations on your special, which I adored. It is uh, uh, chock full of jokes. Uh, it also it talks a lot about uh, the last few years of your life. Uh, and it's, it's two hours, and it, feel, it flies by. Uh, you must be pleased with oh. the fact that it, it was nominated for a Critics' Choice Award. That's very kind of you. Yeah, I am very pleased, excited about the Critics' Choice Award. Also, you know, I don't need to get my hopes up. It came out the same year as Inside by Bo Burnham. Yeah. So I can just chill out and let whatever happens happen, <laughs> which I think we know what's going to happen. Yeah, like, the okay. last special I released was 2018, which was the same year that Hannah Gadsby released Nanette. <laughs> I have a rule that I only release specials when geniuses completely reinvent the genre, <laughs> and then that's when I drop something. Yeah. Because the pressure's off. One thing I would say, uh, none of them have anything on you as far as coming up with a title as inventive mm. as yours. How did you come up with this title? Because I don't think anybody else, any other comedian, would have, uh, would have dared call the special this. They wouldn't have dared, they're all too scared, and unlike me, they didn't have the experience that I had when I, I had a microwaved lasagna and it was hot and it tasted rubbish. So I put it in the fridge, then I watched Queer Eye and I got drunk. And then at three in the morning, I was so drunk and teary after watching Queer Eye <laughs> that the idea of eating the cold lasagna was actually appealing to me. I ate that, it was the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. Like all the bechamel sauce kind of congeals and has a, so, a foamy Haribo sweet texture to it. It's very good. And then I got on a text group, it was three in the morning, no one else is awake, so I got to do a solo. They're my favorite times to go on the text group is when you get to do a jazz, like just complete stream of consciousness solo and tell them everything that's on your mind, but not in one block, in like loads of little short jabs, each four as it occurs to you. And I just was like, cold lasagna is delicious. It's the best thing ever. This is the happiest day of my life. The best year of my life was 1999. And then I started going, I hate myself. And I've just realized how much I hate myself because the drunkenness court kicked in. And then I changed the group name to cold lasagna, hate myself, 1999. <laughs> Passed out. Then the next morning, my agent texted me saying, we need to name this show because the tickets go on sale tomorrow. So I just gave them the most recent name I'd come up with. <laughs> Bravo, bravo. Now, some who, uh, some who might not know uh, your incredible work as a stand-up might have first discovered you uh, when you were on Great uh, uh, British Bake Off. Um, you had a, you were a meme, you know this now. Uh, and it's I know this now. You know this now. Uh, it was uh, started making it. Had a breakdown, bon appetit. <laughs> and now this was, you, I, I've heard you, you sort of blame this on, on America because it, this was jet lag uh, induced. Yeah, I was coming back from America, I was jet lagged, and then it turned out to be the first thing that got me known in America. Also, what you guys don't know is all the memes that you love are comedians abroad. <laughs> That's what you guys don't know, <laughs> is that that, that meme with the baby that's like that, that is, that is a really edgy comic from Scandinavia, that baby, who is like, all, makes Bill Burr them, look like all... a wimp. They're all, all the memes are comedians abroad who you guys haven't heard of. That's why the memes are so funny. But yeah, I was jet lagged, so I did really bad on Great British Bake Off. 
And then when I said to them, started making it, had a breakdown Bon Appetit, I was not lying, that was the truth. And then you lot laughed at it. And it was your fault to begin with, because your country's too far away. <laughs> You've done a, a lot of panel shows uh, in England, a lot of chat shows. What was your first, what was your first talk show uh, experience here in the States? Ever heard of a gentleman called Conan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conan O'Brien, his name is. <laughs> Real piece of work. Real piece of work. I'm glad he's off the air now. I can't remember what happened to him, but he deserves everything he gets. I went on his show and it went bad. And also, the night before, I had visited a, a Mexican food truck in LA, and I, I, I didn't ask anyone for tips of which truck to go to beforehand. <laughs> and let's just say that when I was on Conan's show doing stand-up, some of my insides were trying to burst into my outsides. <laughs> and within, and bearing in mind, the audience didn't know this, but I think they could sense it, because no laughs, they weren't on my side. And then within half an hour of being on the show, and I wish this was a lie, <laughs> I went to a steakhouse and <laughs> my pants. <laughs> like literally <laughs> my not. I went to a steakhouse and then got scared of like, oh, what if what, what about when that airs? I literally did a <laughs> in my pants. <laughs> like it came out of my butt and into my pants. <laughs> well, the last place I wanted it, Seth. <laughs> The last place I wanted it. I wanted it either to stay in my butt or to find a, a new home in a toilet. I didn't want it in the pants I was wearing, which, by the way, in the UK is underwear. But in this case, the got on both. Actually, so actually, to be fair, it was a moment that translated across the ocean. Yeah. I, I, I both things. Well, and that's Conan's fault. And I'm glad that he's now, I'm glad that he will never be on TV again because his show made me myself. Well, I think one thing we can agree on, I, I hope at least uh, in your estimation, this has gone better than that. Yeah. Oh, I'm here and you can't see because it's like this, but I am just not sit, sat on the toilet just in case. Better safe than sorry. Better safe. Fool me once, Seth. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much. I really do hope next time's in person. I, I do as well. You're a lovely man. James Acaster, everybody. Cold Lasagna, Hate Myself, 1999 is available to purchase on Vimeo.